Here we are in Slide Master view for our presentation. And on the Slide Master, you'll notice that there are five placeholders. There is a placeholder for the title, for content, and then three others. One for slide number on that little green rectangle in the upper right, a place for a footer, and a place for a time and date. Uh, granted, they're in a weird place uh, on our slides, but that's because of the ION theme that we're using. Each theme places these elements in slightly different places. Uh, when you look at this slide in normal view, however, close master view, uh, those, those last three elements don't show up. We have a title and we have a content area, but we do not have a slide number, a footer, or a time and date. Let's go ahead and add a slide to this presentation. And we'll see, uh, sure enough, there's no footer, no time and date, and, and no slide number. So how do you get those things to show up? Well, you don't actually have to go to Slide Master View to do that. Um, simply go to the Insert tab, click on Header and Footer, and here's some check boxes. Notice we're on the Slide tab. We can choose to have date and time and if we choose update automatically this date or date and time will update each time we open the presentation okay now if you don't want that to happen you can choose fixed and you can type whatever fixed form of the date time or anything else actually that you want in this little box to get a slide number to show up click the slide number checkbox and to type a footer click the footer checkbox and go ahead and type your footer okay notice that we have the ability to suppress these things on the title slide or not and we can apply just to the selected slide or a group of selected slides or apply to all let's go ahead and apply to all okay and there we can see our three elements the slide number the footer and the date. Okay. Now, if I want to start numbering at a different number than one, I need to go to the slide master view. Let's do that. And this is a weird place to put it, but if you click the drop down on slide size, click custom slide size, you can change the number in number slides from here. Okay. Uh, you can't put a negative number in, but this is sometimes very useful when you're combining several presentations into one and you want them all numbered sequentially. That's one reason you would do this. Okay, that's a quick uh, summary of how to get your footer, header, and slide number to show up on your slides.